is Crystal. I relocated to the Caribbean island of Aruba where I live with my husband and dogs over four years ago. I own a travel consultant company based out of the United States, but we spend a lot of our time traveling the world. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. Hey guys, tonight we are doing a dinner with my whole team from Wanderlust Jet Setter over at Kaya. This is a newer restaurant in Aruba and I feel like it's not so known yet, so we wanna get the word out there a little bit because it's a really great place. It's located right behind sort of like the Hyatt Regency area, so if you're familiar, that over there is the Hyatt Regency. And then over here we have Osteria. That's an Italian restaurant. And so we're going to show you guys around what we're eating, the whole vibe. It's a bit of a Tulum type vibe. The aesthetic is awesome. So come check it out. Something immediately unique about Kaya House is this is a renovated Kanuku house, the traditional house of Aruba. The sophisticated mixology merges seamlessly with contemporary modern cuisine crafting a synergy that awakens the senses. Their unique twist on this focaccia bread is just the start to many incredible dishes to come. My name is Janis. I'm the guy behind the, the bar. I actually have a very refreshing cocktail called the Kibra Hacha. Okay. It's uh, made up with uh, ginger turmeric syrup, uh, lemon juice, and bitters. to the mixologist what kind of drinks we usually like and he recommended some very unique flavors based off our preferences and all of these drinks were handcrafted and absolutely incredible. The inspiration behind the cuisine is both Mexican and Peruvian and I would suggest splitting some plates amongst whoever you're dining with. That way you can try several different dishes like we did here. My personal favorite was the tenderloin served over a bed of tzatziki sauce, as well as the balashi chicken, which is a half roasted chicken, marinated in a Peruvian pepper and the local balashi beer of Aruba. Feel free to pause here to browse their menu or check them out online at kaya.aw. We couldn't leave without trying all of their homemade desserts, which included a rose con leche, salted caramel crunch, a brownie, and a lemon cheesecake, which was my personal favorite. This place was a 10 out of 10. They do have limited indoor seating for those of you who prefer air conditioning. Make sure you make a reservation before you head to Aruba and enjoy your experience at Kaya. See you next time.